Hi, I'm Ellen Pompeo. Welcome to my home for the November cover of Architectural Digest. So the history of this house is that it was built by Paul Williams. Uh, he was commissioned by Antonio Moreno Jr., who was a silent film star in the 20s. The house was started in 1929 and completed in 1930. It had been sort of completely abandoned and was an old relic, and I really saw the bones. And so together, Martin and I embarked on a journey, <laughs> a four-year journey. Ellen Pompeo and I have been great friends for many years, and I, in fact, did her last house for her. So when she bought this incredible house, it was kind of a, a natural progression for us to work together again. There's definite drama in this house, for sure. The scale, the oversized pieces, but you just feel this is a family home. Everything's been done in a way where it's kind of very relaxed, kind of like casual pillows thrown around, wonderful cashmere throws over the arms of sofas. Nothing in this house is treated too precious. The whole family use everything. There's nothing that anyone's scared to touch because it was too expensive. It's just all about living and enjoying this fabulous space. The one idea that Martin was insistent upon, and I just could not see it, was the dining room, was the wood on the dining room walls. And then when all the furniture comes in to the room, it's one of my favorite rooms in the house. For me, the kitchen is spectacular. The kitchen was originally three small rooms, literally hadn't been touched since the 20s, and create an amazing family kitchen. It really, to me, is the heart of this home. But the two most gratifying things that, that were the, the, the sort of biggest expenses and the biggest structural challenges had the biggest payoff. And one is this balcony. It has a huge impact. It really is such an incredible feature of the house. I'm so glad we did it. The other massive undertaking was the yard. This property is an acre and none of it was usable. The house was just sitting on a giant slope of dirt and we teared off that backyard and now it's a full usable acre. You know, the most important design aspect for Ellen in this house was actually to kind of breathe fresh air into the spaces, but most importantly to make it a home. I literally put so much of my heart and soul into this house. It's my other form of creative expression. Everybody that comes into the house is just in awe. And that's, you know, makes me feel good that I'm good at something else. 